Hello everyone, Blink here. In this video, I want to give you guys a technique, backed up by scientific research, that you can use to restore your mental state after coming through a bad streak or a tilting experience. Tilt is quite common in the gaming community, especially when playing competitive. I'm sure most of you have already searched for several solutions to this problem. And internet does not fail to deliver. There's already plenty of reddit posts, blogs and videos on how to avoid tilt. However, what happens if you're already tilted? How can you recover your mental state from a bad streak and focus again on climbing? After searching on the internet, I found quite some obvious tips like taking a deep breath, playing a different game or going for a walk. But to me, these tips don't really seem to address the mental state that you find yourself in when being tilted, but rather tries to distract you from it. So I wanted to research in the scientific literature if there's any technique to recover from tilt that is both effective and can work for everyone. And then I came across the following paper. In this study, participants were split into three groups. All three first conducted an anger-inducing procedure. Then each group was asked to perform a different anger management technique in order to measure which one was more effective. In order to manage their anger, participants were asked to either suppress, accept or reappraise their anger. Then the researchers evaluated the effectiveness of each technique. They saw that accepting the anger was more effective than suppressing it. But what was even more effective is reappraising the anger. Reappraisal is a cognitive coping technique in which stressful events are reconstructed as valuable or beneficial. Reframing an event in order to change one's emotional response to it. Essentially, cognitive reappraisal focuses on changing the meaning and significance of the event rather than dwelling on the event itself. This provides us with a powerful tool to control our emotional state and thus being able to get out of our tilting behavior. So let's first learn how to practice this technique before we can apply it to our games. Dr. Davis, founder of the Berkeley Wellbeing Institute, puts it very simple. First, grab a notebook, sit down and try to remember past failures. It could be an important failure or simple mistakes like forgetting your keys, for example. Write them down and start looking for what you learned out of those situations. Try to extract useful lessons out of those experiences. You can ask yourself the following questions to help you reappraise. Were there or will there be any positive outcome that result from this situation? In what ways are you better off than when you started? What did you learn? How did you grow and develop as a result of this situation? Now that you've practiced the skill on paper and your brain has gotten used to it, it's time to do it with our game in Tilt. Your brain subconsciously builds up an explanation, mostly negative, when the losing streak happens. So your job is to consciously build a better explanation for it. This will change the emotions that the brain produces in order to handle the situation. Simply sit down and try to reframe your current negative experience by extracting useful lessons out of it and planning what you will do next. I will give you guys an example but with an anxiety. Imagine you're having nerves during an important competitive game. Instead of thinking I'm anxious, you can instead think I'm excited. If you genuinely believe, or at least some part of you believes it, you will signal the subconscious to produce a different emotional response which will help you face the challenge with much more focus, concentration and good mood. In the same way, if you build up a better and more positive explanation to that tilting situation, you can actually change how your brain tackles this challenge and get rid of the negative emotions of tilt. If you want to know more about how cognitive reappraisal works in the brain, I highly recommend you guys to check this video by Richard Oban. The link will be in the description. Richard talks about how to use cognitive reappraisal with an anxiety, but the same principle apply to frustration or tilt. The last tip that I want to give you guys is to be consistent with this technique. 
the more you practice it, the more effective it will be. It's all about building a habit. Sometimes improving as a player means improving as a person. I'm thinking about making a part 2 of this video, covering several science-based habits that are shown to improve your brain's resilience to tilt. If you're interested, please let me know in the comments. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll catch you on the next one.